and then if we go to vertex mode select all our vertices and just do shift right click merge vertices merge vertices now if you go to edge mode and loop now notice how that's not looping all the way around and normally I find that's because there will be some issue and actually we can see it see that edge down there that should definitely not be there so there's definitely a uh, face in there that shouldn't be there so it's probably that little face there unless there's another one on the other side as well nope it's just that one face there so it's probably the same on the bottom so let's delete that face out that's better so if we do shift right click delete edge there we go and we'll try the same on the bottom yeah again it looks like this so if you ever find it's not looping correctly even after you've welded it all it's usually because there's some kind of hidden face in there or something like that so that's what's happened here so if you can't select the whole loop and you've welded it all together it's definitely all welded then usually it's because there's some kind of sneaky face or something like that in there okay so that's deleted out so one other thing we need to do actually is the detail here so these bits running down here so we are going to model those in so we go to our front view what we'll do here is first of all use a basic cylinder E to rotate hold J and then just rotate 90 degrees probably get away with having eight sides on this easily and just shrink this right down So that's going to go in there, probably about there. Go back to our front view again. And just shrink this down even further to about there. Remember what we said about normal maps. If we were going to do a normal map, we'd want to make, make sure this has a slight bevel on it. Like so. use F to frame and uh, one thing you can do there you can use F9 to go to vertex F8 to go back to um, object selection so I do tend to use that quite a lot that's going to scale that up a little bit it's probably about there we'll do Um, and then to create that other piece we use another box shrink this right in and then I'm just holding V by the way to snap it over to there And then all we're going to do on this is use edge mode, insert edge loop tool, we'll stick three edge loops in here and then just shrink them in basically, so select that one there. To be fair it's probably a bit more of a dip than that, so we'll shrink it in even further, something like that. And if we go to vertex mode again, we can make sure this is correct. It's probably about there. Um, and then if we select the four faces, you can see it's got a slight bevel on it, which we'd want anyway. If we were doing the normal map. So maybe something like that.
Okay, so control. Oh, we want to duplicate this, but let's just make sure our settings are right. Yep. So we we'll duplicate that. Pull it down. Select all of them. Duplicate special. This time we will have the scale in there. We'll push that over to there. And then for our, for our kind of fine detail, um, well, actually, first of all, we'll do to do the bottom bit. So we'll Control D to clone this bit here. Select those two sets there and just pull that out, straighten it up, pull that bit, and we'll just pull that whole bit down. And we might find we want to pull this down as well. In fact, we'll just leave it as it is for now, at least until we um, model in this top section here. Okay, so Control Shift D on that, drag it over there. And one little thing we're left out as well is the extrusion for this piece. So obviously with something like this as well by the way, I'm leaving this face in here. So you can see that face isn't actually seen. The reason I've left it in there in case um, this would ever actually become a door, you know, be used as a door in game, in which case you would actually need that to um, to be visible on the model. Okay, so another thing we need to add in, um, I did delete that face out before, but what I might actually do is bring that back in but as a separate model. So, sorry, the glass, this is the glass I'm referring to. So. because we're obviously going to have a different material on this anyway. So just select these two, hide those, go to our front view, scale this in a little bit and all this, go to vertex, move mode and then hold V and just snap this onto each one of these. That'll be our glass. And in fact, if you want to, you can now do assign new material, a Lambert, and just sorry, increase the transparency, but like so. And we're going to need to clone these. So edit, duplicate special, instance minus one. I stick the glass over there because of its stupid pivot point, but no matter. We are just snap this back into place. Okay, so the only thing left to do is to fix this little bit here and create this rough shape. Okay, so we do actually have an image for this, so we can like use that image if we want. So we could just drop in a plane, we take this 90 degrees and scale that up. And if we assign a new material to that, a Lambert on it. I'm just going to cause TA plants. I'm probably getting a few materials in here now, so I want to keep it in some kind of form. Browse to my research folder. And there's that image there. So 
So we will apply UVs to that. I don't know if we kind of shrink them in. And obviously, this is slightly on a um, Now hopefully this will actually let me, because I forgot to take out all of the sides. So hopefully I can still reduce this down, like so. Okay, so literally, although this is, this image is slightly out, I can actually probably just rotate this slightly as well, just to straighten it out. But although it's just slightly out, it doesn't really matter. We don't, we're not being completely kind of precise about this. So we're just going to model this kind of rough shape in here. So I'm going to start with a um, with a box, and I'm going to use X-ray mode here. Just shrink this you know, right down, and I'm literally just going to use that as a reference. Remember as well, you only need to do half of this, so um, it's probably easier if we do do it like that. So we've got a half there. So just line up one half, even if you leave the other half of the model in there for now, it's fine. So I tend to kind of try and do it like this, so do as much as you can with whatever geometry you've got in there. Okay, so we're nearly done. And that'll probably do for that. So we'll delete bits we're not happy with. Um, in theory, we could probably add yet another loop in there. And then, obviously, very thick at the moment, so we're going to want to pull that in. Delete this out. Uh, we'll want to delete this, all these faces here as well. So, 
all the back faces. Um, oh, the pivot's actually already in the right place, so we can duplicate special. Only this time we actually want someone like that. Then do mesh, combine, select all your verts, hold shift to right click, merge vertices. Then we have our rough kind of shape. Uh, you might be thinking some of this detail is not going to be completely like flat on. So again you can select all of these and just pull these in a little bit. Maybe something like that. Then I'm going to centre the pivot and use snap to vertex by holding V and just drag this over here. And when I scale I'm, I'm going to hold control just so I'm scaling on those two axes. I think I might pull that out a little bit more. And something what we might want to do is actually get a bit of a bevel in there, just like we have done for most of this. So just scale maybe kind of that bit inwards there. There we go, that's probably okay. So check our duplicate special, clone that, and just put that over here. And that's not looking too bad. The only other thing we'd really want to do is add some books to that. But other than that, it's looking pretty good.